Hello, this is Retro Workshop and here is my unboxing and review of the NES Classic. On screen you can see the box it came in. It was brand new and cost £50. Of course it comes with 30 games, which we will talk about in another video. However, I will say that this saves at least £400. The NES itself tends to be £50 to £100, but it's the 30 games which cost the most. The Legend of Zelda 1986 alone tends to cost £50. Here is the inner box or packaging with the operations manual and here is everything you get in the PAL slash European version. I think that a power brick and a poster comes in the North American version and everything is nicely wrapped of course. And here are all the parts out of the packaging, the NES Classic itself, the NES Classic controller, a near perfect replica of the original, however it uses the Nintendo Wii controller ports and then you get a HDMI cable and the USB power cable. Here is an image of what it looks like plugged in. I want to say that the so-called short cables are clearly not an issue, unless you plan on playing very far away from the console, which makes zero sense. Not least of all because you physically have to be close to the console in order to reach the menu via the restart button on the console itself, unless you use the Nintendo Wii Pro controllers. The NES Classic controller length is 2.7 feet, if I can recall the number I heard and the other cables are over 3 feet. Now the great genius and advantage of making the connection point Nintendo Wii is you can actually use the Nintendo Wii Pro controllers as primary or secondary controllers. This is my limited edition Golden i 007 Golden Wii Pro controller with the two hand grips, thus making it the best controller for this system in terms of comfort and accessibility. And this cable is 3 feet I think, just a bit longer than the original. Of course you can also buy a Nintendo Wii extension cable, which means you can make the controller much longer, or you can buy a long HDMI cable in order to move the console and the controller closer to you. However, you may need to extend the USB. In terms of controllers, I suggest you find a cheap Nintendo Wii Pro controller to use, because the original controller is much harder to use. Also note, with the Nintendo Wii Pro Controller, you can press the Home button to access the main menu, which means you don't need to be near the console at all. This means you can buy an extension cable and sit far away from the console if desired. I highly suggest, however, you sit 2.5 feet away from a 32-inch TV or so. And here is a size comparison image, not my image of course. It looks like the NES original is 1.5 times larger or so. Well, I think that is all for the unboxing and review. I have been Retro Workshop and you have been watching my unboxing and review of the NES Classic. Thank you.